Hello Cathy. Okay. I just watched your video, Creationism versus Evolution. The two reasons why I feel I need to respond to that. The two things you brought up in your video that I think have to be addressed because I think you are wrong. Plain and simple. This is not an attack on you. It is an attack, an attack or an argument against what you're proposing here. And I'll, tell, I'll, I'll try and justify why I am arguing against you here. The first point you brought up was that you felt that we should be able to just basically what boils down to what you were saying boils down to just let's all live and let live. That I cannot agree with. You see, in a couple of occasions in your video, you say let's disregard uh, the literal interpretation of the Bible, but we can't. And the reason why I'm saying this so emphatically is because that is what creationism is about. It is about a literal interpretation of the Bible. As such, it is in direct conflict not with my theories or science, but with reality. And that is why it is very important to address uh, pseudo-scientific, intellectually dishonest aberrations such as creationism. They are, in fact, dangerous. You might not realize this, but imagine somebody holding a belief that you could walk off the edge of a skyscraper and you would just keep going in a straight line. That is a dangerous belief. There's no point in saying, oh sure, but they're entitled to their belief, because if we allowed people to hold such beliefs, I'm not saying allowed as in to le uh, legally allow, but if we just would accept those statements of such a belief without addressing them and arguing them, people would die. Do you understand? That's how dangerous such beliefs are. Beliefs that deny the reality of evolution are dangerous and they have to be nipped in the bud. A belief that brings a god into the equation who gently guides or steers evolution is perfectly okay with me. I have no issue with that. It does not deny the reality of evolution. But belief, belief that denies the actual reality of evolution is literally false and it needs to be attacked on an intellectual basis. Because if you don't believe in evolution, you don't believe in an awful lot of things that if you do not take them into account will eventually lead to disease and to other problems. That's why we are so vehement in attacking stupidity such as creationism. Another point you brought up, the second point you brought up in your video, was the point about, and again this is a point that I've heard people made a number of times, saying that sure, you know, what if they condemn you to hell? You don't believe in the hell anyway. So it is just a pointless uh, shooting off of the mouth, so to speak. Again, you need to think a bit deeper than that, Kathy. Think about this. Somebody tells you that you are going to hell. Okay? Now what does that mean? Hell is an imaginary construct invented by people. Now this is my position on beliefs of whatever nature. You are personally responsible for every belief that you hold. Now take that thought and apply it to the thought to somebody stating the belief that you should go to hell. That is a belief for which they are personally responsible. They therefore consider it to be good, to be appropriate, that you should burn 
for all eternity in hell. It doesn't matter that their beliefs are imaginary and have no bearing on reality. It is what those beliefs do to their conception of you and their attitude towards you. That is what is important here. And again, we cannot let people get away with that. That's the sort of belief that breeds hatred. Because at first, you just feel that somebody should go to hell and that it would be right and just. Next thing, it doesn't happen fast enough, so you want to help them along on the way. See what happens? So it's so well and good that we should all live together, live and let live, and just leave each other to believe as we wish. But there are certain beliefs that cannot be tolerated, and there are certain beliefs that need to be attacked verbally and intellectually. And that is why we keep going on about it. Thank you.